this video, we will take a look at the assessment and grading module. Hover over modules, academics and gradings, and manage assessment and gradings. In Grade Setup, you can build the assessment structure per class or subject. Let's start with assessment categories. The assessment categories section contains a list of all possible assessments for the different classes or sections within a class. For example, the exams assessment can have different categories like midterm exam, final exam, and so on. You can set up weightages for your assessment categories. Weighted categories allow us to specify the importance or weightage of each assessment category for every class. To set up weighted categories, click the Manage Weights link. If you set it to common weights, then you can assign the same weight to a category for all classes and sections. For example, the exams assessment category will have a weightage of 10 for all classes. If you want, you can assign different weights to selected categories within a class. For example, in this subject, you have changed the exams weightage to 20. You can also copy weights to other subjects. The weights have been copied here. You'll get a message to update the overall score of the subjects affected by the weight changes. Click this link to update the existing data with changes you made to assessments and grading. You can auto-update all the records by clicking this link. Now let's move on to grading scales. Grading scales are used to evaluate assessments. In Class E365, there are five types of grading scales. Let's try editing a grade. Scales can be based on grades where you can specify ranges and colour codes. With Rubik, you can set various criteria and the associated grades and remarks. When editing, you can't apply any changes to the Rubik scale if it already has grades with existing assessment. This is an example. However, you can edit a grading scale if it has not been applied yet. You can delete a grading value or add a new one. You can also edit the criteria and other parameters. You can delete an entire criteria. You can't allocate the same number of points to the grading scale values for a given criteria. Percentage, actual points and manual entry are other types of grading scale which you can use as well. You can manage grading periods. A grading period specifies the length of an academic period. For example, you can specify the start and end date for a semester or a term. The weightage of a grading period signifies the importance or overall weightage of the academic session. Now let's check the report cards. As an admin, you can enable or disable the report cards and gradebook display to parents and students. You can edit a report card format and save the changes. Now on to CEE. CEE is Continuous and Comprehensive Evaluation. This allows you to divide a subject into subcategories for further evaluation. For example, you can add subcategory Arithmetic to the main subject Mathematics. You can edit the name of a subcategory. or delete a subcategory. So that's it. This is how you can manage assessments and grading with Class E365. Thank you for watching.